Okay, so on page 161, we're going to do some applications of exponential growth and decay. And this formula um, stands for, and it's highlighted or outlined in the paragraph above. A is going to be your end amount. P is your principal or your principal amount. And then it's 1, or parentheses, 1 plus R is your rate. And the rate in the problem is usually going to be a percent. You need to make sure that you convert your rate to a decimal before you plug it in. N is the number of times it's compounded. And then T is the number of years. So if I try to do example number one, it says 800, $800 is deposited. So 800 is my principal into, account, into an account that pays 9% annual interest. So my rate is 0 0.09 as a decimal and it's compounded annually, which means it's compounded once per year, and it says find the balance after four years. So my amount is going to equal 800, 1 plus 0 0.09 over 1, time, or raised to the 1 times 4 power. And I know that it seems silly to put the 1 and the 1 there, but the reason I'm doing that is all I'm going to do literally is type this into my calculator. So I'm going to type 800 times parentheses, 1 plus fraction 0 0.09 over 1, and then raise it to the 1 times 4 power. Enter. So there's my answer. My answer is, after 4 years, at 9%, compounded annually, I'll have $1,129.27. Make sure you always round your decimal here to the 100 spot, because you are dealing with money. So I'm just going to slide down and show you the answers to number two and number three. You need to try both problems and make sure you can get the same answers for both. And then down here in number four, it's talking about radioactive material that's used to diagnose brain, thyroid, liver, and kidney diseases. The radioactive substance has a half-life of six hours. I start with 200 milligrams of the substance, and then it says how much is left in six hours. So if I start with 200 and six hours go by, after six hours, because six hours is its half-life, it's going to have itself. So I'm down to 100. And then if six more hours go by, that would be a total of 12 hours, so then I'd be 50. And then if six more hours go by, I'd be at 25. And if six more hours go by, then I'd be at 12.5. So at the end of one day, I'm left with 12.5 milligrams. Another way you can do these kind of problems for half-life is that your ending amount equals your principal. Your base here is going to be one half and then you're going to do T which is going to be the number of half-lives that are, have gone by. So now I'm going to flip to page 162. On top of page 162 um, it's the same kinds of problems. The only thing I want to Highlight is that annual means you're compounding once per year. Semi-annually is twice per year. Quarterly is four times per year. Monthly is 12 times per year. Bi-weekly means every other week, which means twice a month. So 24. Weekly, there's 52. Oh, sorry, this should be, bi-weekly should be 26. If there's two weeks in a year, then every other week means 26. And daily is going to be 365, and um, oh, sorry. Okay, go back. Bi monthly is 24, that means twice a month. I was right the first time. So if I slide down, there's the answers to numbers 1, 2, and 3. You need to try those problems and make sure you can get those answers. And then there's number four. And then I want to do number five together because number five is going to involve us using a logarithm. So what I'm going to do is I set up the problem that I have $1 million equals 5,001 plus my rate over 365 raised to the 365 power. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5,000. So you're going to get 200 
equals And all I did was actually do this math. 1.00023 365t. Okay, I need to get to the t. And we're going to talk about this a little bit more later in the week. But to get to this t, I need to convert this exponential into a logarithm. So I'm going to start right here at the base, because this is my base. And I'm going to make what I call a little swooshy around the equal sign. And I do that because to convert this into a logarithm, I started at the base, so I'm going to write log, and now I have a base of 1.00023, and then if I follow my swooshy, the next number I touch is a 200, equals 365t. And so now you can use your calculator, and I'm going to type this logarithm in. So I'm just going to type log. And it asks you what your base is, 1.00023 of 200. So now I have 23,038.8 equals 365t. And to solve for that, you're just going to take your answer and divide by 365. And you should get that t equals 63.12. Years. Make sure you label your answer. Okay, so now we're going to try number six. Number six says that Jennifer has $5,000 at 8% interest compounded quarterly. How much would she have after five years? So my amount equals 5,000, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by compounded quarterly means four, and then I'm going to raise it times to the four times five power. So in my calculator, all I'm going to type is that exact problem. So 5,000 times, oops, 5,000 times parenthesis 1 plus fraction 0 0.08 over 4 raised to the 4 times 5 or 20th. So 7,429.74. Seven thousand four hundred twenty-nine point seven four, and then it says, "When will the be? When will the investment be worth more than twenty thousand? So twenty thousand has to be less than five thousand one plus point zero eight over four four, and then we're gonna put a t in for time." So I'm going to do the same thing here that I did up here. I'm going to divide by the 5,000. You're going to get 4,000 equals 1.02 raised to the 4t. And then I'm going to convert just like I did before. I'm going to start at my base, which is 1.02. And I'm going to make my little swooshy towards the equal sign. So this converts into log base 1.02 of 4,000 equals 4t, and then I'm going to type in my calculator, 1.02, 4,000 like that, and press enter, and then you know you have to divide this answer by 4, so divided by 4, so t equals 104.709 years. And then it says, if Jennifer could have invested the same amount of money in the account that paid 8% compounded monthly, would she, uh, how much more would she have, how much more would her investment be worth in five years? So same problem we did up here, only instead of having a four, I'm going to compound it monthly, so that four is going to become a 12. So my amount equals 5,000, 1 plus 0 0.08 over 12 raised to the 12 times 5 power, and you can cheat on your calculator and you can highlight up if you want. And I'm just going to grab that, and I'm grabbing that because I'm going to go in the equation, I'm just going to change the 4 to a 12, and it's, this isn't going to be a 20 anymore. It's going to be 12 times 5, which is 60. But So there's my answer, so I'm going to write my answer down, equals 7,449 my dollar sign in and 23 cents so if you compare this answer to this answer it's about $20 more you need to make sure that you can do things like these two 
and you can compare amounts because that will be asked of you on your test. You need to try number seven, and then there's the answer to number seven. And then once you make sure you can do number seven, you need to go back to Edmodo because there's one more video you need to watch for page 164.